Yo, what's going on with it once again? People, humanity, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and of course, tacos and eggy out there. There's the one, the only course in mystery. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 came anywhere rain. Of course, the guys in wrestling intros and outro sports channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, see if my volume's up. Hopefully it is. And anyways, I had to talk about two quick things. Probably gonna be a six minute video, it's not gonna be that long. Plus, <laughs> I got 35% battery. Usually I do this right after I play Pokemon Go. So there's that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Oh, before I do begin, real quick. <laughs> Heard about this shit right here, Generation 8 is officially possibly. There's huge hints about that, but um, I gotta take a moment of silence, maybe like a 30 second, maybe 20 seconds, because fortunately, this is way back in 2009, we had this dog. It wasn't really a family dog, it was from my roommates and shit. I know one of their exes gave it to us way, way back in the day. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna get too much into like private information, but Rest in peace to my dog, that was a chihuahua. She unfortunately died this afternoon, earlier at 12. Um, I got a unfortunate like, what's up app. I use that occasionally. One of my roommates was telling me she unfortunately passed away. But then again, she was like 16 years old. I don't know how that long that is in dog years. That's gotta be super old as heck. I was thinking next year, the year after, unfortunately she was gonna pass away. But sadly, it hurt. It hurt like a motherfucker, even though She's kind of a little bit of a antsy little brat, but I'm gonna miss her being around, man, honestly. Right? Like, literally two days before my fucking birthday, she passed away, so. It really, really sucks balls. It really, really, truly, honestly hurts. Emotionally in the feels, it does. But anyways, yeah, let's get on to this new Generation 8 and all that from Reenstra, because <laughs> this is some pretty interesting ass news. I think this is from like a little post, kind of like how Reddit and 4chan works. So it says, <clears throat> Game of the Year Awards. No, I don't care about any of that. I was looking for this other thing about Pokemon. I don't know if it's real or not. This is really, really, really fucking crazy, though, if it is. I think this was from Generation 8. <laughs> this is somebody doing a post. This is 100% set in stone or confirmed. So, this is from this person. I don't know who their name is. I think it's MNK. So, shout out to him from Reenstra. I don't know who they are, but shout out to them anyways. So, said, I had... I like the idea of doing another Generation 8 or 5, but not exactly the exact same way. Instead of just GLaDOS having a bunch of new, unrelated Pokemon give us 100 plus more completely new different Pokemon, but also include old Pokemon that are still new in one way or another. Whether or not new Evos or pre-evolution, mega evolutions, or regional variants, and all the other extra paddings, Pokemon lines, oh, excuse me. <coughs> And the regional decks will still have something to do new and different for them. The person I got this information from, not gonna lie, it wasn't for him, it was from a dude named Berkey for Toby. Some of you people might know who he is. That British dude was like, hey, Pokemon Pasta, it's better keep it Toby. Yeah, that guy. I didn't even know his friend Dunky Knee Deep was freaking um, <laughs> one of his buddies in the UK, but then again, all those little British dudes like to stick together in the Australian ones too, but I'm way over here in the United States, so that's a whole other different world out there for me. Yeah, so overall thoughts, views, and opinions on it. I'm not sure if this is going to be real or not, because he's claiming that England and the United Kingdom is going to be Generation 8. New regional, like, um, it's going to be based off the new region. And it might have a connection with Kalos and all that. I'm not sure about it having a connection to Kalos, but if it does, it's going to be pretty damn excited. Also, hoping if not the UK, hopefully it's either Greece, Italy, Spain, or Ireland somewhere. Even though Ireland and Scotland and the UK are all connected, but they're still kind of fucking far away, to be honest with you. But anyways, um, overall thoughts, views, and opinions on that. I don't know if it's going to be true or if it's fake. He said, this is kind of like a video sponsor in a way, so I doubt if you're ever going to see this, Duncan. But, bro, if you do end up losing, it means you're going to have to give, that, give away that currency over there, which is 500 quid. I don't know how much that currency, like, translate here into American dollars. I'm not sure how much it is, how much that's going to be. If he does lose this bet, but if he wins, hey... He, nobody gets the money unfortunately so definitely i'm not i don't really give a plug into my channel but yeah subscribe to the dude because man this shit might be real i'm hoping <laughs> hoping that it's greece i still really hope that it is greece i had almost fucking flew off my head <laughs> christ that's freaking strong ass ones hopefully you guys can hear me yeah so there's that that little bit of news and a lot of people for some reason 
They're getting really, really pissed off and agitated about this dude right here. Not cheapy reviews, but like <laughs> the picture that they gave it. I'm gonna give my extra two cents because I did say this in my other video that I usually do at my roommate's place. I will say this number now, two reasons that people shouldn't get pissed the hell off over just because of Momo, Yazuri Momo. is showing a little bit more extra skin. You know, her tits are always really, really fucking huge. I know in Japan, Japanese, I think 16 or 17 years old is legal. When a male or a female become a full grown adult. But here in the United States, it's 18, but it should be 21 instead of 18 because <laughs> that's when you're legally allowed to drink alcohol and beer and all that other shit. But I didn't actually do that for my 21st birthday. I did that a year later, my 22nd birthday, because one of my friends in California was coming from his other ex's girlfriend or whatever from the military. And then we ended up having a drink, having a bar tequila and a patron and all that shit. It's really, really fucking good. I got shit faced that day. <laughs> oh man, this is a while ago. This is back in 2011, it's 2019 now. <laughs> oh man. But anyways, I don't know why people are bullshitting and complaining about the dude's art. It's fictional fantasy art. If you don't like the manga, just like Cheapy Review said, you don't like it, put down, put down the manga book and read some other different manga series franchise. It's maybe not as big as Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia. But just go on to another series if you feel so offended and triggered about this. Mainly a lot of SJW, like, blue-haired fucking cunt bitches that are always extremely angry and pissed off about everything. They can never be fucking satisfied with anything that gets thrown in their way, man. Honestly, I think it's complete bullshit, man. Hopefully it doesn't fall onto the whole get what go broke shit. Hopefully the anime manga artist, he doesn't bend the knee. <clears throat> Excuse me. He doesn't end up like um, being a little bitch and taking it up the ass or anything for all these little SJW wars. It's, they don't even—they're not even your main freaking source of income. They don't buy any of your anime or your manga. They don't go to Shonen Jump or buy lots of shit from Japan, like places like Samurai Buy, or they're not subscribed, or like they don't have a twenty-dollar prescription a month for uh, Crunchyroll. Just annoy these little assholes, and then you'll be fine. You'll be on your merrily way. And that being said, that's all I got to say for now, and that's it. <laughs> Links to the description box down below to Chibi Reviews video. He explained it a lot more better than I did. Because he broke it down in less than a minute and a half. And that's all he had to do to shut these people up. It was a really, really cool kid. Shout out to him. You know, granted, he's got 300 plus thousand subscribers pretty soon. And that's it. Oh, and shout out to Duncan Can't Die. Because he had to switch it because I think he's going to be getting 100,000 plus subscribers. Because they won't give him his platform or his plaque trophy clack or whatever the youtube play button silver play button if he doesn't change his username that sucks but i guess it's another new policy of youtube <laughs> that's it peace out once again ladies and gentlemen bros women fanboys and fangirls and uh just in case you guys don't know who this guy is that's him right there man is really really funny as shit definitely sub to him i'll see you when i see you guys today have a good night wherever you're at our own universe out there don't drink smoke to the same times nothing reckless Stay tuned for future content on the channel, including article session reviews with video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that's it. Take it easy. Stay safe. Peace out. I'm like sauerkraut. Late saying goodbye. I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm gone. I'm out. <laughs> Stay tuned for future videos and content over on this channel. I'll talk to y'all, you guys, very soon. Later. Stay safe. And I'm out. Goodbye. And um, hopefully after this, we'll get Diamond and Pro Remix whenever Generation 8 is 110% official. Laters. Goodbye. <laughs>